Hi everybody, it's Kristen and happy Topic Tuesday to you. Today for Topic Tuesday, I'm going to show you how I get this hair. I never would have thought that anybody would care about the fact that I, how or how I curl my hair, but I have, I got a lot of requests for it on a video I put up a few weeks back. So I decided that I would go ahead and do that for you guys today. So if you are interested in seeing how I get this sort of curl, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so for the first part of this, I thought we would just be in my bathroom. You know, I feel like Lana. Welcome back to my bathroom. Or actually, welcome to my bathroom. So I just thought I would show you what I put in my hair so far. Uh, normally I use macadamia nut oil, but I found some, it's a 10 in my cupboard and I thought I would go ahead and use that since I used up my macadamia oil. So I have some it's a 10 in there and then I have a little bit of this Redken Heat Styling Thermoactive Duo Shield 07 which has the two things in it. And then, so I have about a, um, in between a nickel and a quarter size of that and then just a little teeny tiny bit of the Satin Wear Heat Styling 02. So I have that in my hair, um, and then I'm going to put in just a tiny bit of um, mousse. And the one that I'm trying right now is the Body Lux from Joyco. I decided after the fact that I would tell you what I was doing, so, you know. And then I just kind of put that through the ends. I'm sure you, this is going to be... I feel so silly doing a hair tutorial. Okay, so you can kind of see, this is my natural curl, so this is kind of what my hair has. I always think that's important, as I try to put my part here, I always think that it's important to see what you're working with beforehand to know whether, you know, if I watch somebody's tutorial, I want to see what the hair looks like beforehand because who knows if it's actually going, to, if my hair will end up looking like that if it doesn't look like theirs to begin with, does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to use my T3 feather weight light whatever, I don't know. The one I showed in the haul a while back um, with the diffuser on it and I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair and I will fast forward that of course. So my hair is mostly dry. Yeah, it's dry. <laughs> I get impatient with the drying. Um, and yeah, you can see that this is what it looks like <laughs> if I were just leave it natural, which I won't. So I'm gonna I'm going to go back out and attempt to curl my hair for you guys while sitting down because I think it'll be easier for you guys to see. But I've never done that before, so we'll okay, see. Okay, so I am back out here at my vanity. Never done my hair here before, so you know. For you guys, anything. So first I'm just gonna kinda pull this top layer, I believe people call it the crown, out of the way. And then I'm gonna take my Hot Off The Press, Paul Mitchell, and just kind of, I gotta say this, it's really kinda hard to do, using this as a mirror. Um, I'm just going to spray that, I kinda feel like I have two layers here. I always think of my hair as like three layers, the crown, like the second layer, and then underneath. Okay, so now this is a three quarter inch Conair Instant Heat. I've had this thing forever and a day. I have all my curling irons are Conair. Bought them myself, of course. Um, and yeah, and so I just start grabbing random pieces and curl. But the I think the key is that you kind of go in the middle and then you work it down. You know, you don't, you don't pull it all the way to the bottom and then work your way back up or you get kind of funny looking curls. I wonder how many times I'm going to hit the screen in this little procedure. Did you ever wonder why I use the screen? Some of you know, but there's a lot of wood furniture in my bedroom. And so if I don't use the screen, everything looks orange. 
Although today, there is some, I'm doing this during daylight. This is actually Sunday, to think for a minute. And I recorded a look for this, I recorded a tutorial for this eye look. I'm in the process of doing both of them at the same time, actually. Which I've never done before, but, you know. I'm kind of doing the pieces that you'll be able to see. And then off camera, I'll go ahead and do the pieces that you can't. So the, yeah, this is, since you guys will be seeing this on Tuesday, this eye look should be up. I think we'll do it on the weekend, Saturday. And Thursday will be a tag video. I have a couple videos I was tagged in. I don't know which one. Either the summer one or... Oh no, actually, one is the summer and one is the, um, I wasn't tagged recently, but Emily Clark did a what's in my purse video a while back, and she went and weighed hers, and I don't remember what hers weighed, but I went and weighed mine. Like, I I put myself on the scale bef without my purse, and then I put myself on the scale with my purse. My purse was like seven pounds, and she's like, what is in your purse? This is a good question. So... I think I might do that video and then save the summer one for a couple weeks yet since we just pretty much hit spring here. <laughs> Although it's supposed to be like 91 degrees today. Crazy ridiculous. Alright, so you can kind of see what I've done so far. And just... They're just curls. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and do the back of my hair and then I'll come Okay, back. so I don't, I don't know, I did maybe two minutes more worth of curls in the back. And it's probably not perfect, but that's kind of how, it's never perfect when I do it. So I'm just going to take this down and go ahead and spray the, spray the top layer of my hair. I'm like, my hair's like a cake. <laughs> tier one, tier two, tier three. Okay, um, so now I'm going to do basically the same thing. I feel like I'm not teaching you guys anything or showing you any tips or anything. One thing that I probably didn't mention, I just did it, is that I go away from my face on each side, so I go this way on the side and this way on that side, and I kind of do that back to the middle, and I kind of meet it in the middle. I might do one on this side the opposite way, just so that it doesn't look so much like I went ring, 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 all the way around the middle, because, you know, it's supposed to be, well, I don't know about supposed to be. I want it to be um, just kind of random and, you know, curly cuey without looking specific. I'm not calling this beachy because I don't think it is. So I'm going to take a few of this, like half of my bang-ish area, flip that over. My fringe. I feel fancier if I call it my fringe. <laughs> So then I just kind of split this top part into two or three different pieces. And I don't go up as far with the curls on that part. When I, you know, when I'm twisting it back up, I just kind of go probably to the middle-ish. Okay, 
So this is what it looks like when I get to this point. And now I'm just, I literally am just going to go in my hair and I, I'll do that for you. But that's all I do is, so I just start to break up the curls. And I put anything in my hands or in my hair or anything generally. I have products for that, but I don't generally do that. Ever since I saw um, Lisa use a shine spray like on a paddle brush, I've done that once or twice. <clears throat> and this is the only way that I can do my hair and have a second day hair. If I do my hair straight, there's no second day. It just doesn't work with my hair. So then generally I just, I'll look at it in a mirror, which I'm going to try to do for you. Um, to see if I like how the back looks and this is how I want it today I don't want it like super crazy but hopefully you guys can see that and then I just I use just a little bit of hairspray I know you guys are thinking really how do you only use a little bit of hairspray when you have an empty hairspray can in every empties video but I really just use a little bit and I'm just going to take my, I have a funny little part, or funny little colic right here. So I always take my comb, just pick up a little bit, and just to do a tiny bit of back combing right there. Because um, otherwise that looks like I have a bald spot. So a little hairspray. This is the Pureology Supreme Control. control. This is some serious control. I don't like this so much, I gotta say, but it came in an Allure Beauty Box, so I'm using it up. But it's definitely not my favorite. So then I just kind of play with it a little bit. I spray the the Tresemme tray two is way better for this sort of thing. And like this is pulling forward. I just kind of, you know, I just mess with it. <laughs> I'm so it's so helpful. I'm sure. So I'll do a um, spraying and then messing with it. So doesn't look so um, like I'm trying to make it not look helmet like so a little spray a little scrunch a little spray a little scrunch and then I like I like it to stay there so I'll give it a little spray but this is some serious you don't have to use much of this this is some serious hairspray right here and then if I don't like this is kind of clumped together like that grab my pick and just kind of it's like the back comb action, but not actually back combing. Okay, so I hope that you guys found this helpful. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. I can certainly do, I get questions both on my curly hair and on my straight hair. So I can certainly show you what I do with my straight hair, although it's pretty much a hair dryer and flat iron. But I'm happy to show you guys that if you want as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will... You guys are going to see this look in a, in a video coming up, like I said. So I'm not going to run it down for you. I actually have no lipstick on. How about them apples? I don't even have lip balm on. Bad beauty YouTuber. <laughs> I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.